one of the radio DJs at the centre of the Royal Hoax call has announced she'll be returning to radio three years on from the incident. We're talking, of course, about Mel Gregg, who's since appeared in Celebrity Apprentice on Nine. She'll be taking up the mic as breakfast host in 2016. We are very happy to welcome Mel now from Adelaide. Good morning to you, Mel. Hello, guys. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Well, congratulations uh, on the new gig. Uh, tell us on a personal note, what does it mean to you? You know, it means that I've got another chance. When you try to get something for so long, you know, you want to give up sometimes, but I just kept going. So knowing that I've got that passion and determination still proves to me that I am capable of still doing it as well. So tell us about the new new gig. It's in Wollongong. You're currently living in Adelaide, so that's a bit of a big yes. move for you. It is, and it's a beautiful coastal town. I didn't realise how gorgeous it was, and the people there already have been so welcoming. But for me, I didn't really care where I was going to be based. I just wanted to be back on air. So it's an absolute bonus to be in Wollongong and working with someone that I've worked with before all of um, you know what happened with the prank call, and he's an incredible guy and a great boss. Mel, did you always want to come back to radio uh, ever since uh, that incident in 2013? No, you know, there was a time where I, I didn't and I remember the moment so clearly. It was the first time I held a microphone and that was at my engagement party. And when I held it and, you know, the speeches went for about an hour because I didn't <laughs> want to put the thing down. And, and that was the moment and knowing how powerful a radio job can have. You get, you get to use your voice to be inspirational, share your experiences that can help other people and that's important. You've made no secret, of course, Mel, um, that it has been a very difficult time for you. It particularly was immediately following the incident um, after the nurse, of course, sadly and tragically took her own life. And I know you've experienced some very dark periods of depression yourself. Looking mm. back on that now, now that some time has passed, how do you feel about how it all unfolded now? You know, everyone handles things differently and it did affect me so greatly. But I've moved forward from it, you know, I'll always remember, but I, I wasn't going to let it define me. And I think it's so important to understand that there was more to it. Um, there are, mental health issues are far greater than just that isolated incident. So I've learnt how to deal with that and know that there was more to it. Mel, your co-host on air at the time, a lot was said uh, in the time since that incident in 2013 about how your, your careers uh, went on different paths from that moment. Can, you, can I ask, are you still in contact with him? No, and you know, not many people realise we'd only been on air together for two days. Mm. So he wasn't, we didn't have that established friendship. I have no hard feelings for him at all and we did handle things very differently. But that was his choice and, and mine was to go down a different path. All right, well, happy times ahead and a new year and a new role and a fresh start for you. So when do you make the move and what are you most looking forward to? I make the move in a week. Uh, I had my farewell drinks yesterday, um, but I'm, I'm just excited to get started again and I, I hope I remember how to do it. I think you always remember how <laughs> yeah. to talk, um, but I just can't wait to get started. So bring it on. Next year is going to be brilliant. Have you been to the gong before, Mel? I haven't. Well, apart from when I was signing the contract and I'm like, wow, this, seriously, it's beautiful. You guys need to come down for a seafood platter. <laughs> oh, you don't Done. twist our rubber arms. <laughs> it's a beautiful part of the world and we know yes. you will go very well and we appreciate your time this morning and for pushing through your hangover and yeah. joining us this morning. So thank you very much. Thanks, guys. <laughs> very good. Yeah. You're a trooper. Thank you, Mel. And if you or anyone you know needs support, you can, of course, call Lifeline. They are always there on 13. 11, 14.